Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Remember I always say when these guys are just uh, making noises um, without being asked to make noises, you wonder how and why are they making that kind of noise. It's something uh, that we don't know yet and they're preparing us for the real uh, deal. So they just, you know, start slowly to bring up the subject to get us used to the subject and then they are gonna you know step by step increase the whole thing to the final really the final st sentence that they want to communicate to us in this case you know that's uh there's no um there's no smoke without fire so if you see smoke somewhere must be a fire somewhere so when you see these kind of things the articles i'm gonna read right now uh that means there's some People are talking about this somewhere. There's a conversation about this subject. And it's serious if they put it forth, right now or forth, right now after six months of war, or right? And uh, this is about a uh, mini, limited, small atomic war, okay? Or nuclear war. <laughs> so this is the first little step. Hey, how about that? How? How would that show, I wonder, you know? And then they go from that to that, 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 and we, I wonder why we, we got this conversation now. But let's find out. All right, and this is the article that will uh, tell us all about it. This article comes from the Los Angeles Times from August 15th, 2022. Even a limited, a limit, tiny, tiny nuclear war could kill a third of world's population, study says. Hmm, okay, so we're talking about a tiny. Is there a possibility of a tiny? Why not a real one? Are they talking about a tiny? Is there a possibility? Did anybody tell from there, from Russia, told the Americans about, hey, back off, we might do something? I'm just, I'm just, uh, right now, I'm just uh, uh, theorizing. I'm just using, you know, uh, uh, using a hypothesis. So, as, as escalating tensions among the United States, Russia and China revive old fears of nuclear war, some researchers are warning that even a limited-scale exchange between such nations as India and Pakistan could have catastrophic consequences for global food supplies and trigger mass death, death worldwide. worldwide. A nuclear conflict involving less than 3% of the world's stockpiles could kill a third of the world's population within two years, according to a new international study. Okay, um, that's one thing. Let's go and see, they give us some uh, more, um, they can talk about the climate, which I'm gonna obviously go around it. And uh, we say, if India and Pakistan were to each target urban centers in the opposition country with 250 100 kiloton nuclear weapons, which they are believed to possess, about 127 million people in South Asia would be killed by explosion fires and radiation, the study found. An estimated 37 million metric tons of soot would be injected into the atmosphere and the planet plunging by more than 5 degrees Celsius. Will, uh, will, uh, the, the temperature on, on the planet. Food production would con uh, consequently collapse with a number of calories available from major crops and fisheries falling by up to 42% and the resulting fam fema uh, famine, femine, <laughs> famine killing over 2 billion people worldwide. So uh, this, is, this article uh, is not meant for scare the cats. For those who are like, oh my God, honey, go to the store right now. This is the end of the deal here. No, not for those, for normal people and uh, the courageous ones who will, will look, okay, let's see what's going on here. For intelligent purposes, intelligence purposes, not to shit in, pa shit in pants purposes, okay? In the event of a larger war between the US and Russia, which together are believed to hold more than 90% of the world's nuclear stockpile, an estimated 5 billion out of 6.7 billion people worldwide would be dying, according to the research. Yep, uh, but any of the nine nuclear armed nations, uh, let's see the nine. And I'm pretty sure there's not gonna be one that's gonna be over there. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the 10th. That's so, including, include China, North Korea, France, 
Oh, Israel, yes! See how they already included Israel? I didn't believe they would include Israel over there. Because Israel is not really supposed to, uh, it's sanctioned, should be sanctioned because it's illegal for Israel. The big bosses said, oh, no, no, no. But Israel, yes, United Kingdom have enough firepower at the fingertips to cause immense worldwide suffering and death with blah, blah, blah. That's true. That's true. So uh, what are we going to do about it? Other than that, I'm looking for numbers and they don't give us numbers, they, uh, you know, like percentages and so on. But my, my issue with this article is why now? And why it's, they're talking about a limited. Why don't they say, you know, when I was much younger or child, they were talking about the total destruction of the planet. If they get in a nuclear war, it was never like a mini tiny uh, beba booby bibi something over there like uh, three bombs in ukraine and the uh, game is over nothing like that all of a sudden right now they're talking like they started with a little step a little step i told you step one tiny little mini mini they don't even mention ukraine nothing in that article i looked mentioned ukraine and russia mentioned you know hypothetically pakistan and india then they talk about the other nuclear weapons and countries that have nuclear weapons, about the Russia, about uh, uh, USA, if they would do this, uh, how many, how much, but nothing about Ukraine for now. I uh, am very much inclined, see I avoided the word I guarantee you, which uh, <coughs> I know it's stupid because I can guarantee you that, but I am very much inclined, I think the odds are very high that uh, in the next uh, two or three days, we're going to find more articles, maybe in the next week, within the, the week. We're going to find new articles talking about um, what if uh, Russia decides to use nuclear weapons and drop it in Ukraine? What would happen? And they will try to explain that, what's going to happen, and that, and that, and that, and that. So I, I read some articles before, you know, saying, oh, my maybe it's going to be a nuclear war, blah, 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 but not like... Never was like a limited, small, mini, miny, mo, catch a tiger by the, you know, n something like that. Nah. So it's very, I'm very, very, very strange. Very strange. And I can see this is the first uh, uh, foom. I was about to say Romanian foom. Uh, you know, um, uh, what comes from the, from the fire? You see, sometimes you get, uh, you, you have, uh, you know, you don't, ha you don't remember the words. I have to smoke. My God. There's no smoke without fire. So there is a fire and this is just the first smoke that we see coming. And then it's going to be, be bigger and bigger and bigger. I was talking about it. And I said, if Russia starts losing and these guys are going to advance and they push back, back, back. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, will the Russians uh, um, say, okay, this per our, you know, um, uh, procedures or, uh, you know, um, protocol, we can use now nuclear weapons because our uh, country is, uh, our security is threatened, our existence is threatened. I don't know. We'll find out, I guess. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and look for that little mini, 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 limited... Uh, <coughs> war. <laughs> Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.